My name is Francisco Ribas and I'm Squad Leader of Internal Developer Platform at Gruboticario. And I'm here today to talk about increasing DevEx. How we start to build an internal developer platform to give more velocity and satisfaction for our development teams. And let me introduce Group Which Car 2. It's important to know our company. We are a big cosmetics company from Brazil. And we have what we call a complete ecosystem of beauty. In other words, Group Which Car possesses the complete chain of our products. We research them, we produce them, distribute and sell through many channels, from physical stores to e-commerce. And here are some big numbers of our company. But I want to highlight only two bullets here, the last two ones. We are the largest network of, uh, of cosmetics franchises in the world. We have the largest network uh, commerce franchise in the world. And at last, there are two awards that we're so proud. We were elected from uh, four years in a row, the most beloved commerce brand by Brazilians. And we are the seventh most sustainable company on the planet. But why? Why a Comex cosmetics company needs an internal developer platform? I need just to tell you a short history to answer that. By 2019, Roboticar began its transformation. We used it to hire third party companies to build our digital solutions. And by 19, we started to internalize this development. So we jumped from 500 people on our tech teams for more than 1,600 1, in December 22. And here's a picture to show how our company evolved in terms of technology too. We skipped from a proprietary for a more open and modern uh, solutions. And you, you all can see, and I bet that we all agree that is a big, big change in only three years. Oh. At the beginning, by two, uh, 2020, with more than a thousand developers working on, on our solution, it was a strategic decision to have specific teams taking care of our cloud and our infrastructure. The process used by DevOps teams adopts the good practice and modern tools, such infrastructure as code, Terraform and HCL, GitHub repositories, pull request, and Atlantis. So, using GitHub's concept, the source of truth was GitHub repositories, which HCL defining the infrastructure. These repositories were mainly maintained by DevOps teams, making changes and creating new resources on demand, uh, fulfilling requests uh, from the development teams. This is a very good and elegant solution, but it was common to have conflicts between develop development and DevOps backlogs. And delays was commonly caused by blocked teams waiting each other this all made the problem escalate to a very painful way as the team grew, so a solution uh, was urgent for this situation. And as we were looking for improvements on our processes, we saw the opportunity to refresh our technology stack, bring more new and open search solution to address specific gaps. And the most disruptive solution in this refreshed stack is crossplane. The way how crossplane abstracts infrastructure using Kubernetes API sounds very interesting for the Vax, uh, for the Vax, given the fact that Kubernetes objects are well known by most developers. And automating was the first step. We use Backstage as interface 
and the final experience for developers is a form with few fields to be filled, resulting in a repository with, in, with infra and application ready to be deployed minutes after requested. More than just automating the infrastructure creation, the upcoming changes gave us the opportunity to enforce some other patterns that were not always implemented by manual process like security forms. So this process, uh, this automated process uh, is better than the old way uh, doing manual provision. Uh, with this new process, we transform the way to work, mainly for DevOps teams. Now its work impacts all developers through templates implementations instead of manual provision. The Fox now is maintaining templates, ensuring that all company patterns are implemented. For developers, we abstracted all complex parameters of cloud services using Helm charts, so the code of infrastructure, infrastructure in, into repositories is very simple and readable and now patterns of security and infrastructure are enforced by DevOps teams into Helm chart. Okay, it's time to show the code. I'm going to use our homologation environment. So don't be scared by strange names and, uh, and some problem that may, uh, that can occur on our homologation environment. Okay, let's use our automation to create a piece of software. As I said before, we use Backstage as the main interface for developers. To request the creation of a new component software, we use a core feature of Backstage called Scaffold. Okay, this core feature enables to offer software templates. In our case, software templates aim not only to create code, but also to create a complete empty solution ready to be deployed even in a production environment. Here we can see that we have 21 templates, available templates, and let's use a fresh file which creates a node API running on Kubernetes cluster. Choosing this template, we have a small overview of what will be created by this template by clicking on next button. Uh, we start to fill some parameters of our application. On this form, some information is collected to create the repository and to set where it will be deployed by our pipeline. Okay, let's choose our domain and value string. Let's set some system. Let's choose which GitHub team will be the owner of this application. Okay. Let's choose a component name. And let's put some description okay by clicking in next the infra form is shown at this moment i will request which cloud service must be created along my application i will choose an s3 bucket just because it's fast to be to be created and let's Select some name, let's see from some names, platform confiles. We have some other parameters that are are specific for S3. I will let them blank. And I have the opportunity to uh, request some other cloud services. Okay. I can request any a uh, many uh, cloud service in this form by clicking on the next. Step the values. Let me delete this one. On clicking next step, uh, the values are shown just to check 
uh, the values. Okay, by clicking on create, our creation process is started. Here we can see step by step how our component is created. So let's wait some seconds. We can see that we have a startup of Sonar for this project. We, we configure Kubernetes deploy. We did some secret manager for our solution too. And app role where we have where we set the policies for this application. Here we are creating our, our app at GitHub. And now we already have our component on backstage. We, we have a basic view of our component and we have our component on uh, GitHub too. Okay. Now we have our repository and let's open this code space to have a deep look at our repository. As we can see, we have the source code for our API and it's a normal source code for a normal uh, node Feshify API. Okay. And we have another fold called queue. Inside this folder is where the files with our application and infra infrastructure definition are placed. The structure of this directory has, fold, uh, has a folder for each environment, as you can see dev, HTML, and PRD. And inside each folder, we have two files, one for our application definition, and our other file with our infrastructure definition. And here we can see that is where the definition of our S3 is placed. More than the S3, we have the role app that is the role for our application and we have some other configuration. For example, configuration for uh, secrets. This definition defines the policies to access some secrets inside AWS. Okay, now we saw the structure of our repo. Let's see how we deliver it. The pipeline is created by our automation tool. And the pipeline is, is present on this file inside uh, .github and uh, workflows directory as we are using GitHub Actions. So here we have our CI step with, with normal steps for node application, one CI step to build our image and we have CD step that CD step contains two main steps the deploy infra that will deliver our infra and deploy app that will deliver our application and this step appears on every environment of our application okay so we can as we use kubernetes objects we can see on Argo CD the state of our infra and our application. Okay. Now we have automation provisioning both infrastructure and application. Okay, this is it. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and here are my, my contacts to share some thoughts, some new insights. Thank you once more. Bye-bye.